Hey, welcome back everyone. Old Bubs here to walk you through how to do a scale swap on this here Benchmade Tagged Out. The Benchmade Tagged Out is a nice little CPM 154 CM clip point blade in an ultra lightweight construction and this thing is ready to slice and slice and slice. And if you aren't as big of a fan of how this grivery material feels, I picked up some OD Green G10 scales from Rogue Blade Works. Due to the popularity of the Tagged Out, there are a myriad of other scale options hitting the market including retailers like Flytanium, so definitely check them out. Here's what you're going to need to do the job. You will need a T6 and a T10 Torx bit, some rubbing alcohol for cleaning, cleaning swatches, a little bit of thread locker, then a good lubricant. I will be using KPL Original 15 weight and the heavy 75 weight to lube up the Omega Springs. And then this is a little sunshine jewelry polishing cloth and I'll show you what that's for later on. As many of these items that I can are linked down in the description for ease of purchasing. As a friendly reminder, when you're using T6s and Torx bits in general, make sure you apply a great deal of downward force as well as turning. And if the screw just doesn't want to go back up, start over, try another way, the last thing you want to do is strip one of these things out. So now we're just going to go ahead and remove the pocket clip and all of the T6 on this side, making sure to keep them in a particular order so it's easy to put them back exactly where they came from. Then we'll go to the other side, do the same thing. All right, and for some reason that standoff is spinning. So we'll, we'll go at that another way. It can stay there for just a moment. All right, and we'll go ahead and take our T10, pop this pivot out. Okay, so now this knife should come apart. As you can see, we have our one standoff just sitting out there. Looks like the D-shape isn't nestled down into the scale perfectly there. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this really gently with a set of pliers and then take the screw out. All right, we'll set our standoffs to the side here. And here we're looking at the inside of an axis lock. You can see you have an omega spring on this lock bar here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this omega spring off gently. Be sure not to scratch anything. Set that to the side by taking it off the lock bar there. From here, an easy way to get this off of there is just to push our pivot through. And this plate should come right off of there. Take our blade out. See, we've got our washer. Now we got both scales here. Let's take off our other Omega spring. Set that aside as well. Take your lock bar out. Then take these plates apart. Being careful not to lose a little spacer that goes in between these liners. There's the inside of the Benchmade tagged out. I'm going to set my washers aside here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, the 91% isopropyl works the best. I highly recommend you do not get 99%. You might think that that's just a little bit better, but the 99% is just harsh enough that it'll really mess up your skin. And if you work on like a nice finished table, it'll eat the varnish right off the table. Just go ahead and clean all these components up really well with the alcohol to get any grime out of there. Depending on if this is a new or used knife, you might have different levels of grime. But anytime you have a knife open, it's a good opportunity to give it a good clean and re-lube it on the way out. Get all those dirt particles, little metal filings out of the way. Now on our washers here, 
we're just going to use this sunshine cloth here and just go in a really gentle figure eight. Very light and even pressure. That just gives that washer a nice little shine. that one that's another little clean and another little clean all right so on these new scales coming in we only have holes for the right hand pocket clip so that makes this easy to identify i recommend starting with the backside scale because that's the one that the pivot pushes into originally and we're going to start building and reassembling the knife from this side so the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and grab this liner put my lock bar through here Grab the Omega spring that just goes over the side of this, pushes into there. And then at that point, I'm just going to put a little drop of this KPL Heavy underneath the spring path on this liner. That'll give it a nice smooth feel when you're pulling that spring back. You can go ahead and put this in the scale here. And I actually like to slip this screw right in here so it stays in place. So when we put these screws back in, we're just gonna put a tiny little bit of thread locker to help keep them in place. Just snug up the screws at this point. Don't worry about tightening them down also put in this little spacer so now we'll take and we're gonna line up the D shape of the pivot here you can see that it's up we'll just take that same shape Slide that right on through. Grab your KPO regular weight. One drop of lube on each side of the washer to lubricate it nice. We'll take our blade, slip that over the top there. and lock it back in place. And now everything's reasonably gonna stay in place. The next thing I like to do is just drop these standoffs in here one at a time. It's kind of funky to do this on camera. Kind of the best way to do it is just Drop that screw in there, pick it up like this, thread it on through. Put our next screw in here. And the last standoff. All right, from there, we'll lube up the other side. Drop our washer on top of there. Then we're gonna take this other part of the liner and slip it over this side of the bar lock. For this, you'll just have to you know, disengage that lock, slide it over, then while keeping this all in place, just slide it over the top there. 
Now, as you can see, that lined up, lined up and dropped in there perfectly. So now we just need to grab our other Omega spring, snap into place here, snap it in, another little drop. The KPL heavy. Now we are ready for our second scale. Just gonna sit over the top like this. And at this point, so that this pivot doesn't go anywhere, I'm not gonna actually drive in the pivot screw all the way, but just so we don't lose it, I'm gonna start by putting in that pivot. We'll tighten up that up the rest of the way. Then we're just gonna drop in our other screws. On a knife like this, it's really important that you just snug things up before you get the action all adjusted because you can move the action out of alignment. You can cause blade centering issues, all kinds of things. If you get too much torque on one area of the knife. So now the first thing I'm going to do now that we have them all into place, so I'm just going to snug them all nice and even but definitely not tight so that everything will kind of come into alignment now we'll put our pivot in the rest of the way do is we'll start it kind of tight that's tight and of course we have absolutely no blade play we'll just back it out a little bit for action that's running really nice and I highly recommend that you break in your blade and your washers a little tighter and then after you've broken it in for a little while, then running it a little looser rather than starting it looser from the get-go. So your patience will certainly be rewarded with a really smooth action knife. All right, we'll just pop the pocket clip on here. And there you have it. We have our Benchmade tagged out in these OD Green G10 scales from Rogue Blade Works. If after watching this tutorial you have any questions that I've left out, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. I hope that you'll let love and light fill your life. I'll see you all in the next one.